Well, we have a growing threat of some big storms as we head into Monday across parts of the upper Midwest. We're going to break it down in today's video because with these strong thunderstorms, we could see some large hail, maybe bigger than two inches across parts of uh, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and not only just hail, but maybe some really strong tornadoes too. That's going to be really watched over the next couple of days. So damaging winds, all hazards really on the table with this type of outbreak. And really the worst storms would happen into Monday afternoon and Monday evening as we look at this. But this is a four out of five risk with the bullseye right up into this region. Something to keep an eye on. Here's the driver of this. It's still looking like a pretty strong cold core of air aloft that's moving into California on this Saturday. It will continue to push east through Sunday and then into Monday. We'll really start to see things explode here across the central United States. Let's put this into motion. I'll show you this chilly air aloft that's also bringing some rain and snow showers across the mountains of California into four corner states. We'll see a little bit of rain and snow here, but a lot of energy kicking out into the plains, into the Great Lakes region, into the upper Midwest with a lot of wind aloft too. That's going to really help drive those storms. Here's what we're looking like today, though. Maybe a few strong storms across Texas, across parts of New Mexico. We've seen some big hail makers, some strong storms over the last couple of days. We've even got a complex of storms today moving across parts of Oklahoma and Texas. And then into tomorrow, that risk pushes north into parts of Kansas, into Nebraska. And then there is that outlook heading into day three. That would be Monday with a four out of five risk, again, increasing here across. We've talked about Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Iowa, but look, that's a pretty decent threat all the way down into Oklahoma with the highest threat across the Plain states, really being across Kansas, and then further east into Missouri, and then down into Texas. But that bullseye region, again, right here across Wisconsin. And look, all the way to the Canadian border and then into Michigan, too. Some of these storms may hold on into Monday evening, into Monday night, into early Tuesday morning. And then beyond this, heading into Tuesday, the Storm Prediction Center pushing that extended risk out all the way from upstate New York, trailing our front down into Texas. So we've got a couple of days of severe weather ahead, not just what we're dealing with today. This is what's driving some of those storms, too. It was looking at the upper level winds heading into Monday. You know, you've got not only this cold air aloft, but pinwheeling around it, this jet streak, this core of strong winds aloft. And on the front right side of wherever these jet streaks are, this is typically where you're going to see these storms start to evolve, and it looks like that would be, well, right in here. The same areas we're talking about, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa. As this energy moves north, most of your severe risk will move away. However, we are going to be dealing with an environment that's quite unstable heading into Tuesday, it's, and maybe another jet streak trying to round this trough. So, you know, I don't know that we're going to see the same environment, but a few strong storms, again, still possible into Tuesday. Here's a big picture set up, and then we'll walk you through the entire country, uh, region by region, and we'll break it down. Cold air aloft across the west, and this is where our storm will start to be felt first. We're feeling it already across parts of the west, and then it moves north and east, and strong low pressure develops here across South Dakota. It moves across Minnesota through the Great Lakes. Across the southeast, mild. Temperatures warm above average. In fact, we could be feeling almost summer-like in some areas as we head into early next week. All of the thunderstorms start to sag south. Cooler and drier here across the northern plains into the upper Midwest. We do see some drying conditions into the Great Lakes, and then our storms move further to the south as our front drops into the mid-Atlantic down into the southeast, and then we dry out into the northeast and turn a little bit colder too. Let's talk about region by region now. Let's start across the west, then we'll work our way east. This is where the storm is moving ashore now, or at least this cold core of air here. It's got some uh, chilly temperatures in the mid-levels of the atmosphere that's leading to some snow, and those snow levels are dropping. So we're seeing some snow into the Sierra today, tonight, into tomorrow. Some of it could be heavy at times, and then we start to see that back down also across parts of Northern California, and that snow moves into parts of the Wasatch. So we will, we will see some snow into the Rockies too, and then all of that kicks east. We see a drying pattern starting to set up, although we will stay kind of showery, a little bit unsettled here for the Intermountain West over the next couple of days. And here's a look at your temperatures cold again today across California with that chilly air lot and those rain and snow showers. Northern California, some rain and snow here too, even into parts of Oregon and really not as much into Washington. Most of that focused here across California, moving into the Intermountain West, into Idaho, Montana, some snow levels that will be dropping here. I should say snow levels will be dropping here with some heavy snow uh, into some of the mountain areas. Rain in the valleys, just a little too warm, but those snow levels are pretty low for this time of year. And then we do see some drying across the Pacific Northwest 
with temperatures also rebounding kind of nicely too. Again, cool across California, a little bit warm though across parts of Oregon. Temperatures jumping up into the upper 60s, close to 70 today, and then tomorrow maybe even warmer. We may get close to 80 in eastern Oregon. Let's move into uh, the Southern Plains, all the way down into Texas now. We've got the storms moving through Oklahoma today, dropping heavy rain, some hail possible in this area too. We've seen some big storms, some really tall thunderstorms, putting down some big hail across this region over the last couple of days. Kind of unsettled as we head into Sunday, this threat shifts a little bit to the north. Now then, NAM is doing kind of a bad job, I think, of picking up on how these storms are going to fire heading into Sunday afternoon across West Kansas, Colorado, into Nebraska. But enough instability with our system as it kicks out of the Rockies to be there. And then this is the energy that starts to take shape for your storms that will form across Iowa heading into Monday. This is the extent of the 3K NAM. We're getting to the very end of its cycle. So over the next coming days, really tomorrow, it will be really interesting to see how these shorter range models start to handle what's going to happen on Monday. All right, here's a look at your temperatures today in the 80s across Texas. I mean, it could be much hotter, right, but not too bad. Further to the north, we've got the showers across the Dakotas into uh, also Nebraska. A few thunderstorms possible within this. Certainly nothing like what we're about to see over uh, the next couple of days heading into Monday. We push that warm air pretty far to the north. Temperatures on the way up. We get really unstable. And then here comes the cold air aloft. And your thunderstorms start to develop as early as Monday morning across parts of South Dakota, Nebraska. You can see your low wrapping up here. You get the idea. You've got low-level winds coming in like this. Your jet streak aloft here so all of that change of wind direction with height those curved photographs as we go up into the atmosphere we see that happening so now you're dealing with a pretty strong tornado threat at least it's looking that way as we look forward into monday still kind of far away i guess in the short term as far as these short range models go but we're definitely seeing that and you can see these numbers look at the the temperatures you can see them surging north all the way into minnesota pushing that warm air almost 80 here across parts of south dakota there comes your low you can see your front and check it out we're probably going to get into the low 80s i mean if you get into the low to mid 80s across iowa minnesota wisconsin into the afternoon i mean you're just developing a powder keg ready to go with these strong to severe thunderstorms and again, some of them could produce some strong tornadoes, unfortunately. That's the way it's looking at this point in time. All right, across the southeast, much quieter. We're dealing with some showers across the Virginias into the Carolinas. That dries out some as we head into Sunday. This batch of showers may bring some rain across parts of Missouri into southern Illinois, Indiana, into Kentucky. It's kind of falling apart, though, as it moves through Kentucky. Uh, otherwise, again, not a lot of concentrated precipitation across this area over the weekend once we kick out the showers that are moving through parts of uh, the Mid-Atlantic today. As we head into uh, tonight, temperatures getting kind of cold up here uh, into the Appalachians, maybe into the 30s. We rebound, though, into the 60s tomorrow, so some cooler air behind this precipitation that will be moving out as we move through Saturday. Dry up across uh, the Great Lakes region, Michigan looking pretty nice today, although the further east you go, you'll deal with more clouds, uh, especially as you get into parts of the northeast where there could actually be some snow mixing in here across parts of New York heading into tonight into early Sunday morning. There comes the showers ahead of our warm front that will be lifting north, that warm air moving all the way into Canada. And then here comes your severe weather on Monday. All right, let's move a little bit further. Well, let's look at your temperatures. This would be this afternoon, clearly much cooler behind our front across the northeast. This is where it's also a little bit interesting, too. A lot of rain today, kind of wet and soggy and gross all up and down the I-95 corridor, and it's going to stay wet maybe a few thunderstorms this afternoon. Some of these could get strong heading into the evening hours from Vermont down into parts of the Hudson Valley, pushing down into New Jersey, into parts of Virginia. Some of these could contain some damaging winds, maybe some hail as our front moves through. Colder conditions behind it. So now we're turning to snow into some of the higher elevations of uh, the upstate of New York, into northern Vermont, New Hampshire. And look at this, maybe some decent snow into the Green and White Mountains heading into Sunday with a little bit of accumulation possible. Temperatures clearly on the way down here today were pretty nice, but tonight things change. And as we head into Sunday, temperatures get kicked back a good 10 to, in some cases, maybe even 15 degrees colder than we will be today. All right, that's a quick look at uh, your forecast around the country. Again, the main threat will be this severe weather outlook. And as we head into Monday, you know that's a time period you want to stay weather aware. Have a way to get alerts. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're brand new to the channel, I'm Travis. Welcome. I'm a former chief meteorologist on TV. That's my past life. I've been out of that for years now. But if you're a weather geek like me, I mean, once you're a meteorologist, you're always a meteorologist. You can't take it away. If you enjoy weather, hope you'll come back. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.